Hello. It's me. What's up, Andrew? Oh, sorry, Albisto. Uh, yeah, it is late, but I don't have anything going on tomorrow, so we're all good, I think. Um, yeah, what's up? Hello. I have news I want to share, but it's still a tad premature. So I'll keep it to myself out of fear of screwing myself over. Well, okay. I won't, um, I won't make you tell me, but I'm intrigued since you brought that up. Um, yeah, I've, I hope uh, everything's been going well with you. I've kind of just been stuck in a cycle of trying to work on my dissertation and uh, side stuff and this stuff. So yeah, mostly that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's almost Halloween and I kind of almost have finished Trigger Fire, but I don't know, we'll have to see. I managed to get overlay sharing enabled on my account so I can um, start running a beta at some point. I want to say tomorrow, <laughs> which seems really soon, but Halloween is on Thursday and I should, I probably need to put it out Wednesday, which is really tight, but oh well. You sound so burnt out and sad. I'm not, uh, I don't know, that's just how things are, I guess. I'll be okay. Um, casting on this app sucks. You're not just a spinner on my TV. Oh, I'm now just a spinner. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I don't know if we have quality settings. Maybe we don't. Rocket, what's up? Hello. I feel like my mic is pretty loud. Should probably turn that down. A tad. Okay, so last year, oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Last year for Halloween, we attempted to play Dead Space and um, that failed horribly because I was playing on a lab computer in the university and because I didn't have admin rights, it wouldn't let me save the game, so it just crashed every time I got to the save point. Um, so we ended up playing some spooky maps on Portal 2, which turned out okay, but uh, this is probably the first time we actually have a, a spooky game to play, so we'll see how it goes. Um, dibs on beta. Of course. Of course. I'm work. I'm work. I'm good. Work has been very intriguing lately. Oh, interesting. Hopefully intriguing in a good way, as in you're doing stuff that you want to do. Oh, there's the doot. There's the doot. My mic was fine. I'll, I'll bump it up like half the amount that I turned it down. There we go. I went to my manager with an XD prototype for a section I wanted to redesign, and not only did he like it, but he put me with the lead UI UX guy to work on a giant redesign. Ooh, congratulations. That sounds, uh, that sounds amazing. And you've been wanting to do a lot of, um, like, getting to grips with proper, like, professional UI UX stuff, so... It's pretty exciting. And yeah, I, I'll probably need your input on um, 
that's the UI UX stuff that I have going on because I have literally just thrown together a whole bunch of controls and it somehow resembles a form. But yeah, you'll you'll know better than I will or do. Um. I can't tell what the volume is like on this. I don't want to turn it down too low because I am supposed to be getting spooked. But it is also half past two in the morning. So I, I don't want to scream because people around me are probably going to get annoyed. <laughs> um, I don't feel like I spook that easily. I mean, I probably jump, but I don't think I scream. So... We might be okay. Um, okay, so what's this? Okay, new game. Uh, are subtitles enabled? I don't actually know what this game is about. I know it's to do with AI, I think. Hints? Should I put hints on or off? I don't know. I'll put them off for now. Um, audio. Okay, there we go. Subtitles on. Everything else is... Wait. I don't know what's on and what's off. Is white on? Okay, so white is off. But the... It's weird because when I click on off, it toggles to the other side. <laughs> That's just confusing. <laughs> okay, hints are off, I think. Um, and subtitles are on, I'm assuming, I think. Now it's just confusing. Uh, normal, safe, monsters are still creepy. Okay, so there are monsters. There's only safe or normal. Okay, well, I guess we'll go with normal. I heard some was really good. So have I, yeah. Um, I actually had it on... The Discord, because it was free on Discord games, but then because they removed that the other day, I, I tried to launch it and I didn't have access. It said, um, you no longer own this game. So that was frustrating, but it's on sale on Steam at the moment, so that was good. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to play it for a while. So we'll see what happens. Um... <laughs> the Sebs emotes. I just picked up Man of Medan the other day. Ooh. See, that would be a classic Andrew Oscar Delta YouTube Let's Play. You have some pretty spooky games on there. You know, not like, not just the forest. You're not just the forest guy. Okay, let's start this, I guess. I don't know if this is... I guess I can adjust it in a minute. A minute. When we hear how it goes. Steam Halloween. Yeah, it did. It's uh, pretty pog. I can't believe I already spent money on it. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to, but here we are. Okay, that's ticking. I didn't actually get to read that. <laughs> Something okay about reality is glitch. I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Be right up my alley back Here, in the day. Take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. Oh, it's I haven't clean. played until dawn, but I've heard really good things. Actually, Heavy rain guys, something. right? Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munchie? Why is there never enough time? What's happening? For what? Oh god. Christ. Why is everything blurry? This is just... I guess I should answer that. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My Hello. Name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, 
Yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you why to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. Bone so bright. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Oh. Oh my god. Well, this is my room, I guess. Uh Where did I put the tracer fluid? Tracer fluid. Oh god, this is the first time I'm using um the the docks in uh OBS and it feels weird. Because I didn't want to have Firefox open. <laughs> so my chat is, um, my chat is on the side, but it's the, I couldn't work out how to get like the chat with, um, what's it called? The, um, BTTV and FFC. Cause it's just the, I don't know, the default thing or whatever. So now I'm trying to work out how, okay, I want to expand my chat so it's vertically all the way down, but I don't know if I can do that. Oh, it doesn't look like I can. Rip. Oh well, um, that might just mean that chat is going to scroll off the screen occasionally. Oh wait, I can just pop it out, I think. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, let me catch up. Until Dawn was 2015 interactive. Super massive, okay. <laughs> Andrew's a boomer. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are Kappa. You? I feel like the graphics are a bit high. Uh I don't know if I'm gonna turn that down to medium. And that can go to medium as well. There we go, it's a bit smoother. So this is my room, I guess. I've also turned out the lights, so... <laughs> Spooky. When did this game come out? I feel like it was not. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. Like recently. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Wow, physics are actually really nice. You could hold R. What? Okay, maybe I just haven't played enough games, but that's pretty sick. I'll admit to being a boomer if my kid misses to being a Gen Z entitled avocado and toast eating mama's boy. Well, probably aside from the avocado bit. Might not be too far off the mark. Oh, 2015, oh, okay. Yeah, four years. How do I zoom in? Oh. Okay, you can see the last time I played a game like this was probably <laughs> <laughs> Never. I don't even know what that says. 
9 to 12 something. And that looks like a Pokemon. Okay. Get well soon. Oh, right, because there was some kind of crash, and I think I ended up in an accident or something. Can I smash this? No. That's a resilient mug. That is a very resilient mug. <laughs> um, frictional. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So that's the logo that I saw. They did Amnesia? Oh, interesting. I've heard Amnesia is really terrifying. I think I have it somewhere, but I haven't plucked up the courage to play it yet. I remember this game being Talk of the Town. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I don't know, maybe it was one of those games that people just slept on for a while. And then... That mug is probably official Firewire merch. As in, I'm just really thick, and that's the same kind of material that they're using. Yeah, that mug is not breaking. Kudos. That's very impressive. I commend the uh, manufacturer. Now, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, okay, so this is very um, Deus Exe or Prey. I did start Prey, but it's uh, it's a bit overwhelming, so I didn't play it again. But I probably should. Uh, thank you for participating in our research. Scan will be performed at Pace Laboratories, Toronto. Hey, look. This is uh, Andrew's game. I bet he worked on this. Because everyone in Toronto knows each other, right? Munchy. God. Headaches have become less frequent. Latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering. It's still too early to tell how well it'll adjust to the damage. Bleeding will continue over the coming months. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I've written you a prescription for Prazosin. Help you with your nightmares. Oh god, I have nightmares. I feel like this is going to be one of those games where you have to play through your nightmares or something. <laughs> oh, I forgot to hit send. Oh, I didn't send that? How British is it to obsess over the quality of a mug? Hey, we use our mugs quite a lot. Like, my mug's sitting right in front of me right now. And this is the same mug that came with me my very first day at university. I'm still using it. It's still in immaculate condition. We take care of our mugs. I like a cheeky tea from this. Yeah. I'm actually almost about to run out of tea and I'm kind of panicking because I don't know where I can get the same kind of make of tea. And I don't want to risk getting a different brand because I might, it might not be the tea for me. And then I'm going to have to drink all of it anyway because I've already bought it. So that's kind of Monka-S, but I'll figure something out. I think the shop where I bought it is like a 40-minute walk. Um, although, if I can maybe find the direction of the buses, I might be able to use that instead. Toronto is tiny. I'm going to send this email. I don't even know what it says because I didn't read it, but I'm going to assume Better late than never. it might be useful. Is it cultural? The tea over there is just like... I think it's cultural, yeah. It's like if something's happened or you just need a drink, tea is like the go-to. It's like the thing you offer people when they visit. It's like the go-to drink. So I guess, yeah, cultural. I don't like tea, but to be fair, I do get it. I wish I enjoyed it nice and warming. Um, I don't know about, well, the caffeine is definitely a thing, but I don't know if it's a thing with me. Oh, there we go, some light. Um, I don't think caffeine really has that much of an effect on me, which is weird because, Nothing but fast food. oh like God, healthier my way this looks like my dream fridge. This is amazing. I want this fridge. It's just full of 
pizza. Pasta. You know what, I'm just gonna... Oh, no. I almost dropped that. That was close. We can't drop the simulated pizza. I'm just gonna clear my table. Can I pick up these? Okay, no I can't. There's no room. I don't have any room for anything. I'll just put this on the bed, I guess. Green? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, the tree, the tea that I usually drink is um, jasmine green. Although I do want to try censure. Um, I'm just gonna take this all out to eat later. You know. Um, is there anything else in here? Oh, I can crouch. Okay, nice. Don, what is? Th oh, wow. I can push things away. <laughs> How far my, my arm has to reach out to grab something at that range. Look at that. That's not normal. Just saying. Um, you know what? I think that's enough. Just slam the door. Um, the crumpet wire? Oh god. I think... I think... I don't think that will count, Sean. Devs must love you. <laughs> Someone's finally appreciating all the irrelevant models with physics that we put around. Well, yeah. If you, if you were a dev and you spent literal hours... I mean, something like this. I don't know if... Do you think that's a stock model, or do you think someone actually put the effort into Like, look at that. Somebody probably put the effort into making that texture. Like, look at the light ref reflection on that. There's a mat there. And even if the devs themselves didn't do it, or they just bought the model from somewhere, someone must have done that. There's individual vegetables in those noodles. Look at that. I don't know how you can zoom in, but... Oh, wait. Oh, wow, you could open these. Use the mouse. Oh, okay, so that is a thing that I needed to know. Look at the physics of that, though. That's insane. I'm probably just out of touch with games. Um because I haven't really played any, like, this kind of game in uh, a while. But this is just mind-blowing to me. I'm just going to put the pasta in here. <laughs> There's something glowing I should probably pick up. Hooked. Only quarter break, they've managed to save enough money to take the family on a vacation. Paradise turns into nightmares, swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. They're pulled screaming into the dark water. Yeah, okay. Well, that has to be, uh... Oh, nice, okay. Um... I guarantee you are the first person in Soma history to pick up that very jar. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. You're right. We we probably shouldn't just spend the whole game staring at models as much as I want to. I did look up the completion time for this and it's nine hours. Um I was kind of hoping I would be able to do that over Halloween as well. Maybe like a spooky stream every day until Halloween. Including Halloween. But at this rate, I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> because we're just going to be looking at everything. Okay, so we probably shouldn't. I mean, I can just go through the game in my own time afterwards. Um, that's not really insane at all. Well, it is to me. 
This is how he accidentally discovers object hopping and gets world record. You know, it could happen. I don't know if people try to speedrun this kind of game though. Maybe. There's probably a category for everything. It's like rule 34, but with games. I can see into that room. Oh, you can open it, okay. Oh, it's light outside. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Okay. That's interesting. That's actually quite nice. Look at the lighting of that. I probably shouldn't be doing I just told myself that I wouldn't look through everything, but I just I just wanna look. <laughs> I can lean. That's not a good sign. That's usually the kind of mechanic you need when you're trying to see if there's a monster around the corner. There's no water in the toilet. That's confusing. Can I flush this? Oh, I can. Everything's like a really weird motion. It's like you have to grab it and then drag it instead of just clicking. Which I kind of dig, I guess. Um, you could do it in under 30. You gotta pull the doors. Okay, makes sense. You should speedrun Outlast. Oh. Interesting. I mean, Outlast does kind of strike me as the game that people try to speedrun because of its, like... Um, I don't know, escape this, escape that nature. And this is so far very, uh, or maybe I'm just making a big deal out don't of... keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. <laughs> <laughs> Even my character is like, I shouldn't be doing this. Okay, it's going to take me a second to get used to these controls. Oh, can I... I'm not gonna read that. Right, watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Oh, I'm assuming that's a mechanic, being able to watch stuff like that. Now I'm kind of curious if you can object top. You probably can. I'm just going to sit here and watch the world go by. Okay, no I'm not. I'm actually going to move on now. <laughs> go to the doctor smelling like it's your house. Yeah. Okay, I think I need that. Why am I putting it down? Can I open it? No. Pick up meds, flowers for funeral. It's nice that they give you the option to uh, read the actual text instead of just reading off the wall. I should probably switch off the lights before I go. You don't want to, you know, come back to a soaring electricity bill. I think the lights are off in there. Uh, I already looked at that. I don't think I can switch that off. What is this? I feel like that's a, that's a reference to something. I think most people would have left the room by now. I don't know what I'm still doing here. <gasps> I'm sorry. That was really rude of me. That's probably why you can extend stuff. Okay, uh, let's not go back up. Sorry, dog, I had no time to shower. I spent all my time picking up and dropping my mug repeatedly. Well, I'm recovering from a brain um, brain damage, I think. So this is probably normal behavior, all right? I haven't watered my plant. I'm a terrible plant dad. What is this? Uh, that's weird. Nice.
books, comics, board games. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait. Isn't this the person whose book? Oh, yeah. Book signing. Um, Break the window with the chair, jump, win game. By the time you're back from the dock, you'll draw a spaghetti or BD for his... Yep. I think so. It'll be a nice meal for me to eat. Unfortunately, I have work in the morning, so I can't stick around, but enjoy your object spinning simulator. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you uh, for stopping by. It was good to see you again. And congratulations again with the uh, UI stuff. I'm excited to hear about what you get from it. Um, and you can share with us all of your UI wisdom. Like, don't toggle things off if you click on the other side <laughs> or something like that oh, I picked up my keys nice I really should drink the tracer fluid before I go see dr. Munchie oh tracer fluid right I need to drink that do I have a list of objectives anywhere I guess not <laughs> um where is the tracer fluid? I've spent this entire time just wandering around my... God, I'm like a cat. <laughs> um, wandering around this apartment and I didn't manage to even find my um, objective. Hopefully sometime this week or whenever I can catch a stream. Yeah, um... I don't know if I'll... Sorry, I thought I just heard something move, but I think it was actually in the game. That was freaky. Um, I... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be torn. I don't know if I'll, I should be coding or if I should just be playing horror games this week. We'll see. I haven't played any games in ages though, so this is actually a welcome break. Fridge? Maybe. Is this on? Or it's not. Can I run? Oh, I can. Uh. I'm assuming it's not this, which looks like it's empty. Why is it in the fridge? This looks like alcohol or some kind of, I don't know even what that is. It's not that. You probably said it somewhere. This is not even supposed to be a puzzle. Maybe it's in the bathroom. I feel like it would be a kind of thing that you keep in here. It looks like spray. Yeah, that's all spray. Just putting everything into the sink. Incredible. I feel like I've messed up the room um, to the point where finding what I need is going to be a pain. There's the spaghetti that I'm defrosting. I'm like raiding my own apartment. Oh, maybe it's in here. No. I'm 
massive recoil, flawless execution. What is this? Oh. Whoa, I can throw things? Nice. That's good to know. Come on, last draw. Uh, I think that's a camera lens. Or camera something. It's seriously not here. Maybe it's... Oh wait, it's probably in here, isn't it? What? I don't know where this tracer fluid is. Went to the bathroom, drank water, came back, and he was still in the apartment. He won't let me leave without drinking this tracer fluid. I have no idea where it is. Let me out, me. Where did I? Where would I put tracer fluid? That's not a normal thing that people just keep around the apartment, you know. That's like a... Oh, maybe in here. There it is. Oh, there it is. Why would I not... Okay, well... Why in the item... Okay. So I guess I just drink this. Can I... Mmm, just drinking my tracer fluid. It feels like milk, but the taste... It's like sucking on a penny. I have to admit, I wouldn't know what that's like, but I'll take your word for it. Gonna put that in. I don't think I can turn that on, but at least I tried. It looks like I've just paraded my own apartment. Nice. I've just trashed the place. This is what amnesia does to you. You just forget things. Okay, we've left after God knows how long. Oh, I'm on a uh, metro. Very dingy. I love sequences like this. Reminds me a lot of Half Life. Oh, I can answer or not? Uh, yes, I'll like answer. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Maddie from SNL? Uh, I guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. You won't find me in a Interesting. So I guess I'm in some kind of experiment or research thingy. Um, VO is actually not bad in this. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually digging it so far. They seem fairly realistic. You know, this is kind of how Hello? Prey started out. Dr. Munchie? This doesn't look good. And it's already dark. <laughs> I'm already getting scared. Is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. I don't like this at all. I'm gonna check this out, even though I probably shouldn't. Paul, where are you? I've got a few hours to get hold of Simon. I think that's me. Uh.
She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Okay, so that's me. So they're just talking about me. Well, that's not a very good light. Oh, there we go. That's better. Why are the curtains drawn? Oh god. Rip game. This is the place, right? It must be. <laughs> Whoops, I misclicked. I didn't mean to do that. The game threw Dr. me off. Munchie? Can you hear me? Hello? The game th <laughs> it the like the thing froze and then I couldn't click it. Can I bring up my phone again or All right, we need a code. I should have called. This would be a lot easier if I just called. <laughs> it's because the phone was like in motion and then, oh. That sucks. I feel like I've just made everything. I'm just gonna make this game hard for myself. Why am I doing this? Is that a code? 2501? Doubt it, but I guess we could try it. Put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself. Damaged brain scan to produce computer model. Numerous tests conducted on the model without risk. Perfect treatment is then applied. Okay, so running simulations on the brain on a some kind of model. Okay, so that's where I think the, the psychological bit comes in. We're in a simulation or something. I don't know. Uh, 2501. Oh, nice. To run? I don't like the sound of that. I swear, if I get jump scared this early on in the game, I'm going to actually... Not even kidding. James. This all looks like this place was abandoned or something. Can I not open that? I feel like that's a thing that you should be able to open. Okay, never mind. I don't like the look of that. Oh god, that actually scared me. <laughs> oh, there's a guy in there, okay. I was just expecting to find like a dead body in here or something. This looks important. I don't think you should just leave a needle lying around like that, but okay. This looks very unprofessional. The doctor's coding overlays. Oh, he's just going to program my brain with Twitch overlays. That's when you know you should run. That is, uh... That's probably going to be me. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. <laughs> well, we can start whenever you're ready. Okay, so the trace of fluid was to map my brain activity, right? Makes sense. That's what it's generally used for. <laughs> Is that a th Just sit down and we'll get started. Come on, let's do this. Please don't touch anything. Please, have a seat. 
<laughs> I'm just turning off everything, just like flicking with the switches. I'm probably going to end up electrocuting myself, honestly. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> I feel like there are a lot of ethics that need to be taken into consideration with this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, throw something at him. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, we can grab the, uh... Don't wander around. There's needles and stuff lying around. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna just stab myself, am I? I'll throw a power drill at him. Just have a seat, and we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> okay, well... He, uh... <laughs> that sounded really painful, actually. <laughs> I want to grab that. Please, have a seat. You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yeah, <laughs> she startled me. It must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. <laughs> and if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Okay, I believe you. This is totally not going to just ruin my life or something. Yeah, he doesn't seem too phased. Oh, that just... Just have a seat. And I don't think that was supposed to happen. No <laughs> okay, I guess we'll sit down. I'm gonna leave the door open in case I need to make a run for it or something. I don't think this is going to go very well. Sound design, yeah. Definitely a lot of uh, realistic sounds. I think this is... Alright, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, the Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? No. Say cheese. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. What happened? Uh oh. Are we in like a parallel universe Hello? Or, or something now? Mr. Munchie? Are there monsters? I'm terrified, actually. Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. We're obviously in like some kind of. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. Oh god, I can get out of the chair. I don't this know. This is kind of stressing me out. Anyone? Oh, I can lean in the chair. Oh, I got out. It's so dark. There's a glowing red thing that I probably should go towards. 
Oh god. Oh. The hell is this place? How okay. Did get here? <laughs> this is not where we uh where we left. Are we on some kind of ship? You know, if we're facing monsters and stuff, I'm hoping we get at least some kind of way, way to defend ourselves. Like a gun or something? I don't know. Omnitool chip installer. Okay, Omnitool. That kind of sounds familiar. Kind of like uh, the dead space thingy. I don't have a thing for that, so I guess I can't use that. <laughs> Unlock terminal from service console. Yeah, I guess we do have no option but to leave. which we apparently cannot do. There's something outside. Is this a puzzle? Do we have puzzles already? Well, this is lit up, so I'm assuming there's something here that I need. Oh. I didn't like that. <laughs> uh. Can I get into one of these suits, maybe? <laughs> I mean, these are glowing green. Oh, maybe I can smash the window. Hey, look at that. And that's probably not just told everyone on this uh, ship that we're here. We need to smash the um, this glass. That's what you should do before you jump through a window. Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to do that. I didn't like that. That is a bad sign. That's some dull glass. I know, right? There's an auto save. Not a good sign. What? Expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you to data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. What was that? How did I do that? Also, I just realized that subtitles aren't... This is the consequence of bad... Um, UI. Okay, I think we should leave hints on, because otherwise we're just going to be stuck here. For eternity. <laughs> um... 
Okay, that's all fine. It's working better than expected. They're having okay. a really hard we already time did getting that. the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. You should keep us on up. I don't like the look of that. What are these? Spinach. Rice. Curry mix. Noodles. Okay, so it's kind of like astronaut food or something. Munch print. Can I... How do you use this? I don't think you can, but... Doesn't. Okay. okay. So you can open the doors that are orange. Good to know. Ventilation still works. God, all the physics are gonna just freak me out because everything just makes noise. Okay, we've opened that door. I don't think I wanna go that way. Okay, so these things allow you to unlock doors. That's kind of broken though. I'm getting a lot of Dead Space vibes. Uh oh, something's happening to my vision. What are these? They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> that startled me slightly. Are these the monsters? Is one of them gonna grab me? Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go up to it. Is it gonna kill me? No, it's just my imagination. They're perfect, they're totally fine. Everything's fine. Everything is good. We're okay. I'm gonna take this drill with me and throw it at anything that moves. Why? Why did they have to do that? <laughs> What are these things? Yeah, take that. Uh, I don't know if I should be in here. I mean, this is lit up. Can I do anything with this? I don't think so. Just gonna get out of the creepy room. Although I think I need to be in here. Maybe.
Everything sounds plastic. <laughs> Even though it's probably not. Oh, these things are on, like, conveyor belts. Like... Oh no. I can interact with it. I don't think I want to. Uh, well, here we go. I'm gonna back away from it. I think one of them came to life. Yeah, it's alive. I think it's walking around. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what are we doing? What have we gotten ourselves into? I don't even know where I am or what these things are. I can still touch this thing. I don't think I want to. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm touching it. Hey you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Oh, so that's what that AI, I think, or that machine was um, experiencing something. Oh god. It's not on its rack anymore. Well, where am I supposed to go? This isn't good. I feel like every physics thing that I throw around is probably going to make noise as well. Okay, it's, I think it went into the vent. Oh, it, it just crashed through the, uh... That's good to know. It opened up a path for me, how nice. So considerate. Are these all people, or...? Like, there's something here. You know, I preferred the apartment, <laughs> not gonna lie. Can we just go back to the apartment? This is way too Monka S for me.
This isn't good. Oh. There's something in here with me, isn't there? Why is my vision doing that? Is it because I'm close to something good? Or is it because I'm about to get killed? I need to get to that door lock. Oh! I think something just got killed on the other side of that door. <laughs> I don't want to open it. Good. I think something. I'm just going to be crouching the entire game. I really need a weapon or some way to protect myself against whatever... It's like I'm playing Alien Isolation all over again. Omnitool. Tab. Okay, so that's my inventory. It just shows an icon on the screen. But how do I actually use it? Oh, crouching is, uh, you don't have to hold it down. Okay, nice. That looks like a, some kind of body. Oh, it is a body. They were killed. Okay, nice. Good to know. Um, yeah, I'm not about that. So I kind of want to get out of here, if at all possible. I don't know if that might be asking a bit much, but there's something over here, actually. Okay, I can't use that. Omnitool. No. No. Come on, there has to be something here. What's this? Omnitool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, controlling computerized systems. Logical charts. Over time, Omnitool automatically adapts its programs to uncover subconscious behavior to optimize work, minimize user error. To upgrade your interface, simply slide operators into the main or auxiliary slot. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. So I can use this to do things. Like what? There's gonna be a monster in here, isn't there? There's so many sounds. I can't take this. Is this the way I came? No, it's not. It's a different area. Also, okay, it's save and exit, but I can't just save. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
why is this game like this? I didn't actually think the game was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be a slow burn, not a hide and go seek with alien type monsters. <laughs> this is actually uh, probably bad life decisions right here. I mean, I can't even just like, I feel like if I just kick this stuff, it's going to attract. Because everything makes a noise. God. Albister, you have captured my exact thoughts right now. Everything is just... Okay, I can do something here. Error? AI Helper Jane. I don't know what that means, I, but obviously I can't use that door yet. We're okay. It's fine. Just move slowly. Probably. Was that me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't open this. I feel like I'm supposed to use this because I just picked it up, but I don't know how. Swipe Omnitool. What? Okay. Probably can't use that yet. Um, can I take this? I don't, okay, I took this. I kind of want to throw this and see if something comes out. And at the same time, I'm probably going to die if I do that. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to yeet this, and I'm going to hide. Okay, nothing happened. Well, that's what it wants us to think. Or maybe I just didn't throw it hard enough. <laughs> or maybe I'm just going crazy, who knows? Okay, calm and collected, calm and collected. I'm doing that motion, but this doesn't seem to want to budge. So 
I don't know if I can open that. Oh, wait, what? It made a noise. Okay, no, that didn't do anything. It has to be something to do with this door, but I can't... It doesn't say what. Still an error. Hmm. We're definitely missing something. You know what would be really helpful? Some source of lighting. <laughs> uh, that would be great. Can I touch that? I don't know. That's the way I came. I don't think it wants me to go back. Let me touch this and see what happens. Okay. Ah, shit. That happens. <laughs> uh, yeah. You probably shouldn't try to touch electrical wires. I don't... I can't see my health, so... Oh, there's one of those doors there as well. Can't do anything with that. I don't understand. Where am I supposed to go? There's no, uh... Objectives. And there was a monster thing here, and then it left. I'm not sure where, where it went. And there's a door that won't open. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if I'm just not supposed to go there yet. I just jumped and I thought it triggered something. I'm going to backtrack and see if I can use my thing with something else. Can you maybe climb these, I wonder? Why would it say that you can do something with this? Or is that just the default? Oh, you can. Oh. There's a... Wait, so do you have to smash that with something, I wonder? Like... 
a fire extinguisher. Where did I eat the fire extinguisher? How are you supposed to open that? something. I guess I'll backtrack and see if I can find something that can open these. Maybe I missed a upgrade or something. Maybe there was something on the body. I don't know. That's all very well and Okay, wait, let me check what the controls are, that might give a hint as to what I'm supposed to be. Flashlight is F, I don't think I can use that yet. Okay. Yeah. F doesn't do anything right now, so... <laughs> scissors? Can I take a scissors with me? That's a sharp object. I might be able to use it to defend myself. I'm probably making this way worse than it needs to be, but... cannot find where this thing goes. I mean, this is opened now. But how? There's, I don't have any way to break that. I can make some kind of weapon out of something. There's a fire extinguisher. I don't think I can use that to open it, although I thought I could. That's weird. Uh, this is too spooky for me. <laughs> Gotta go sleep and present this project tomorrow morning. Alright, that uh, sounds good. Uh, good luck with your presentation. Your project. Uh, hope you managed to get it finished. I'm probably not going to sleep too well tonight. Um, this is way spookier than I thought it would be. 
which is pretty monk ass. But yeah, uh, have a good night, and I'll uh, catch you soon. I can't open this. There's like a bolt here. I did manage to finish it, I had to make an actual game in Warlock. What? That's insane. Well, uh, congratulations. I am proud of you. Son. It's absolutely terrible. Well, you're always critical of your own work, so I wouldn't sweat it too much. You've probably done better than the majority of your class. So, you're all good. Um, but yeah, go get some sleep. Go and, uh, rest up for tomorrow's presentation. This is really annoying me. It doesn't even tell me how to use this thing. I'm too afraid to like just stomp around in case that thing comes back. Got an exam on Friday? Ah, uh, you're fine. You've got this. But yeah, good luck. And uh, I'll, I'll catch up with you soon. Um... Okay. It's not giving me any hints as to what I need to do. Hello? Should I just backtrack? I'm gonna backtrack. I feel like there's something I'm missing. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's a thing. Um... So this is the area I came from. Oh, I need to go back to that station with the upgrade panel. Here we go. I need to put this in here. I did need to backtrack then. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Emergency status 13 days remaining. Scan, that's kind of balked out. Manage toolchip. Welcome back, Louise. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition but not fitted with the toolchip. Note that without a toolchip, your kit will be unavailable, including your cross site security access. Please insert a toolchip and run an update. Okay, so that must be the door that we can't um, use. Custom Cortex chip. You are currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence helper, Jane. 
Okay. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron that just knocked out the whole place with some virus. Whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Okay. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. <laughs> so... Okay, so we're an engineer, or at least we have an engineer's, uh... Engineer's... kit thing. We unlocked... Oh god, the lights just went out. Pilot seat. Wait, so this is me. I'm... am I the pilot? Wait. No. I don't... that just can't be right. Can I switch this back on? Okay, I don't think so. Ah! I'm just scattering them all along the floor. Okay, so I have the thing to open the door. Level three, all right. I know they told you that field technician. I don't need that. I want to. Can I do this? Can I put it back in? I want to do that scan. Okay, it's just garbage. Never mind. So I can leave now. Spooky monsters are probably now super active because I'm making progress. Can we just be friends?
I don't like this. Not one bit. Okay, that's where it jumped down from. I think we can go into this room now. I'm just gonna crouch everywhere I go. That's not loud at all. What happened in here? Are we underwater? Holy shit. I think we are. Like nothing happened. Everything still looks the same. All silence alike. Fish monsters, okay. That's what I'm taking away from that. Okay, so something happened here and they had to seal the place up. And now we're just going around unsealing it. Nice. This is spooky, very spooky. There was an autosave there. Who's saying that? gonna back away into this corner. Oh. There was something there. What is this? What was that? It doesn't hurt anymore. Uh What just happened? It was like a voice, and then the guy got disappeared or something. I don't know. Okay, we're going into this vent. Because vents are 100% safe. Nothing will ever pop out and scare you in a vent. Yeah. Yeah. I said it.
I don't want to go that way. Which way am I actually going, though? I'm just gonna say this way. Ah, oh, right. Station control. That's the thing that's moving. That is a light. Don't touch the structure gas leakage. Gel leakage, can't confirm its effect. Issue has been reported. Hey, can you hear me? I think it killed. What is happening? Radio signal blocked, insufficient power. like a machine and not oh I'm unplugging it I need it there's someone in there Was using up the power. Manual boot sequence. Uh, what do you want me to do? So, I don't understand, are these AI, like, they were previously human, or were humans put inside the machines? Is this their only way to survive, or is, am I just hallucinating everything? Well, she seemed nice. Oh, here we go.
Okay, so I need to stop it in the green. Nice. Okay, so we're in Epsilon. Oh no, we moved. What's happening? Hello, is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Epsilon, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Ah, oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh someplace dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, wait, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Okay, so now we need to go to the comm center. Nice. Okay, well, we're in the thermal plant. It seems mostly functional. At least it's lighter. I, uh, didn't really like being in the dark. Not that long. Can't get through there. Oh. Okay. Well. It's okay. You're good. Deep breaths. Oh no. You didn't see me. Okay, I can't use that. It's okay. You can't see me. You don't know where I am. Oh, 
What is that thing? I don't even know what I just did. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to avoid this thing. Okay, it's coming back around. I don't know which way it's coming. Okay, I think it's going through the center. I'm just gonna hide down here for now. I think I need to go up those stairs over there. It's really bright. I'm just trying to stay out of its line of sight. Good. Okay. As long as I mostly stay behind it, we should be all right. Now's our chance. Although I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> see me up here I don't think. Oh do I need to do a running jump? saw nothing. Um, okay, I don't know where I'm going now. That was, I thought that was my only escape. Saw me. I'm dead. Wow. 
First death, nice. back here Super slow. Okay, this is not desirable. <laughs> uh. Okay, I think I see where I can go. How do I heal? I don't think I can heal. I don't think I should push that. Last time I did something like that, it made a really loud noise and it just came running for me. Uh oh, I think it can see me. Or is it just... I don't know. <laughs> Did it bug out? Uh oh. Never mind. I need to push that lever. I think that activates this door. I'm gonna die again. Aren't I? It can't find the stairs. Never mind. It found the stairs. Push the thing! I'm dead. Oh god. I died. Okay, so you can die... You can get caught once, and then the next time... You die, okay. Nice, that's good to know. Okay, we're back here. I think I know which way to go now though. Uh, so this breaks. Thing comes. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that can throw you off, unfortunately. Wait, what if I go in here? This is the way it came. Okay, there's nothing in there. That's just a red herring. Can go up here though. Uh 
Oh, we made it. Okay. So the steam was for... Um... Okay. Well, we've made it to the next section. Is this comms? She said it was upstairs. Oh, there's a robot guy there. Access to conveyor stairs. Okay, so it's upstairs. That's a map. Okay. Let's see if there's any information here we can glean. Log in. Terminal for details. I don't have any details, unfortunately. Amy and Carl Pathos Buddies. That's cute. Oh, that's the thing that I have on my desk, I think. Isn't it? It's very alien looking. Amy's sketchbook. Well, I guess we should go introduce ourselves. a face. So they're aware they're robots then. Hello, can you Hello? Can you hear me? It's me, Carl, calling from the floor. Like right next to you. Are you human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I try hard to save a mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you oh, know anything about so this? So it place? thinks it's human. Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Wait, what? So, where are you, exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey, buddy! Okay, okay, I, I'm, ju I'm just gonna be... I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here! See? Uh, okay. I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? So, she... he... What's wrong with your... everything? Are you go diving in sewage or something? They mentioned something like pilots. Are those machines... are they hooked up to... machines? And... the machines think they're human. How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, remoting a UH. UH? 
a universal helper, you know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields, and that's my last clear memory. Oh, okay, so this is the robot that they think they're piloting. And then... God, so... You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots are too on a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know? Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but... Nah, pretty far-fetched. Listen, I don't want to alarm you, but I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands, both my feet. When you remote, all you see is like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. I'm really hurting here. Go get some help. Find someone who can help. Okay, so he is stuck in a robot. Just like I might be. Except I probably aren't. I'm probably not aware of it either. gonna be okay. Wait. I'm really hurt. I I'm sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Won't your mechanic make more sense? Are you trying to be fucking funny? Give me a medic! Uh but you're a robot! Really? The robots have legs! A face! You're delusional! Okay, calm down. I, I won't get some fucking help! Uh <laughs> I don't Don't touch me. Please tell Amy. I need help. Go tell the others. I feel like I need to kill him, unfortunately. As terrible as that sounds. God, it's stuck. Do I need to go this way? Oh God, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, it is Carl. That's Carl. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting around. Oh. So that's what happened here then, I guess. He died. Yeah. We'll call. Shoes. Theta, turn around. Can I get in one of these suits? I feel like I really need a suit. Uh...
I really want to help the robot Carl. Because obviously his mind is still trapped inside that robot. Scared. I don't know if I wanted to do that. <laughs> Is it jammed? just activated. I'm sorry, I think... I don't think, uh... I can help. I don't want to risk electrocuting him. I need to get up to comps. I can't check the terminal because... Oh, there's something here. I still don't know what these are. Ugh. Is that like health or what? Seal exit. Can I throw this somewhere? Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I don't think he's gonna... You okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, I think he might be. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Unfortunately, I need access to up here, I think. That's still not it. 
maybe up here. Still jammed. Uh Okay, well, I don't want to keep electrocuting him if I don't have to, so I'm gonna go switch this back on, and hopefully he's still okay. Stay with me, Carl. Hello? Can you hear me? Hopefully he's okay. This is the way I came. There's another door back here. Did everyone just get zapped? Everyone's consciousness just got zapped into... An AI or something. I mean, into a robot. Give me an indication what to do. Wait, what if I switch off power again? Will the fan stop? I don't think I'll be able to get through it, but we'll see. Sorry, Carl. Okay. So it's really just that area. Hey. Yeah, I don't think he I think he's uh Zapped, unfortunately. It's pretty cruel how they don't actually give you any objectives. You just have to keep looking around. I need to get into communications. But this won't budge. So I'm guessing this is sealed up or something. the memory card.
call Amy. I triggered something here, but I don't know what it unlocked or if it did anything. There's something in there that I need to check out, but I can't get in there yet. Can't get in that vent. Is there something here, maybe? probably need to get into one of the terminals, but I don't know what the code is. That's not important. How do I get up here? I can't need to go back down, can I? I feel like going back there is a mistake, so I'm not going to do it. Um, I feel like this is the right area. To be or not to be? She was a pretty good uh, sketcher. Now if only... So that's the workshop. This is, this must be the... the way to Theta. And this is the seal or something. Because this is Epsilon. Geothermal plant, natural gas, refinery, construct factory. Oh. No. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Did you get the final backup turbos going?
What are my objectives? It doesn't even say. Maybe I do need to switch the power off. Okay, that doesn't open. But I feel like that doesn't do anything out here. It just makes his life miserable. I think he's gone. Um, I kind of want to find how to get past this. At least just for next time. Storage. stuck again, <laughs> which is not a very, uh, your service technician. Why not? Oh wait, can I open this? Oh, there's Amy. A. Azaro. Theta, turn around. We sealed Epsilon to keep it working. Don't fuck it up. Carl was not my fault. No, it wasn't. He just got attacked. He was just sadly in the wrong place. <coughs> the wrong time. So they did seal this place up. Unfortunately, wasn't enough. This is all contrary to the, uh, main point which is to get up here which I can't do because this is stuck
I'm just wandering around in circles. I don't know what to do. Sadly. That's still working on this. Can you hear me? Well, I might just... It's almost 5 o'clock, so I think I might call it here. But, uh... Yeah, I'm actually kind of enjoying this game so far. Apart from the super spooky bits. But actually... It was kind of just avoid getting caught kind of thing instead of like actively being jump scared by a monster and uh, loud noises and screaming. It's more atmospheric I guess, which is what I like about it. Um, I don't like that it doesn't show you <laughs> what your objectives are though, because it did. I thought I did have an objective objective and uh, it turns out I can't do it so now I'm stuck wondering what else I'm supposed to do and I pressed something here and it didn't do anything so I don't know I mean, that looks like it's flooding. Carl, which we already saw. And this won't budge. Which is sad. Uh, nothing I already touched. Can't get in here for some reason. Don't know the codes to these. Carl, I accidentally zapped. Um, hey. There has to be something I'm missing. Something tiny. <laughs> Maybe this will tell me more. Okay, so that was on the other side. She must have been in here somewhere. Okay, and then she must have zapped it or something. Nice, except that doesn't really help me. I don't really want to go back down to the creepy monster. Uh, I just want to 
get to the comm center. Somehow. Assembly B. Road control. I'll get in. So weird, I don't know. I have no idea. There's probably something to do with that code, if I could find it. I have no idea where it would be. I thought it well, maybe one of the paint drawings, but it's not on there. Communications, that goes up to communications, okay. That makes sense. Six. So this bit over here, that's where Carl got killed. So obviously they didn't seal all of those in times, sadly. Um, it looks like you can go through assembly B to get to the shuttle station. I wonder if that's what shutting off the power does. Doesn't look like it. Uh, what else? Well... Changing room, pump room, restrooms... Okay, so... The pump room is where we came. It says exit to airlock. Shuttle station is marked, but it doesn't look like I can make it through um, the door. I wonder if... I am supposed to go in there, I wonder. I can't fit through there. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Well, it is 5 a.m., so I think I will call it here. This was actually a lot of fun. Um, 
I'll probably have to just Google how to get to proceed from this point because I have no clue. Um, but I won't do anything more than that. I think I'll just leave that for the next... Um, the next stream, whenever that is. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. So, uh, anyone who's lurking, thanks for uh, being around. I will probably be on, I want to say tomorrow, but we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> I'm going to go get some sleep. And I'll be seeing you later. Peace out.